Got him. Swim in the jig. First fish of the day, and I was swimming. No, I was swimming a black and blue jig, and I got my first bass of the day. That's a two and a half for sure. Swimming the jig. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah, turning the scale on. Zero the scale. I'm going to go ahead and say two pounds, 10 ounces actually. You got two pounds, no, you got three pounds, zero ounces. Pre spawn patty. Yeah, 3 0, 2 15, first fish of the day. You want to get a length? Seventeen inches. Swim in the jig, man, three pounder. Gotta go back out there. I got that bite that I can beat. Moved down a little bit. He went to go get a battery. Got a trolling motor on this canoe. We're gonna make it work. Or at least try to. By the way, welcome back to another episode. I'm far away from home, and I've got one three-pounder. <laughs> see what today brings. And no, I didn't plan on swimming a jig to catch my first fish of the day. What happened is I was throwing the jig, and I kept getting weeds, and I was like, yeah, I think I need to switch to a plastic or just, just something or a chatterbait. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna swim it. Because when you swim a creature bait or a jig, sometimes just that subtle approach or just seeing that trailer is what they want. So first fish of the day, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope we get more than just the one fish. It's actually a, uh, it's a Shimano SLX MGL. It's the 7.2. It does have a 70 size spool, but I actually do have 20 pound Sunline Sniper fluorocarbon on there. And you will see that even, even with a really long cast, cast it out there you'll see that you still do have over half of the spool filled so a lot of people think that when you get these 70 size reels that it's only good for light line or flipping and pitching or braid up close which is true it's amazing it's great for those things but it's also good for a texas rig a jig tube and bottom fishing now i wouldn't go and fish a half ounce lipless or chatterbait on there when I know I'm going to cast the line off, but you get what I'm saying. I've got a, what is it? Two breaks on, two breaks off, dial set on five, casting at least half the pond, maybe longer. And I know I could definitely turn it down more, but anyway, let's get this battery, get this canoe in. Welcome back to another episode. We're just going to be fishing and making content this year, man. Let's see how it goes. Help if I put my glasses on. Oh, yeah. That's great content. <laughs> Just put it in there. Got one. Chatterbait. There's one for the jig, one for the chatterbait. Tiny fish, but look at the colors. 
All right. I was just gonna pick up the jig, but. And another thing too, is I was thinking that, you know, I told you guys it's the bruiser color, which is great. It's black and blue with a little bit of a, kind of like a brown pumpkin on it. Well, I was almost thinking before I put my glasses on that I needed to go to just all black and blue without the brown, but we'll see what happens. It's a pond. I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. <laughs> Throw a couple baits and call it good. My, my fishing on my channel is public lakes anyway, so this is more of a treat than anything. Yes. Yes. And by the way, that anchor is dragging us perfectly slow. That's awesome. Get a hog. I hope you do. Got oh. I gotta go up on the drag. There's fish sitting right there. I might want to throw that jig in there. There's fish sitting on that edge. Got him. Told you they were sitting there. To give up. No, listen. Get in the boat. Looks like we got another, another two pounder. You see that fish? It's another two pounder. Brother, man, what a day. Just getting started. Oh. Right. Uh, I apologize for the wind, but I am using a seven foot four medium heavy power, moderate action Shimano Corrado crankbait rod. It is a half ounce striking Thunder Cricket in the color, 16 pound Sunline fluorocarbon. And then you also have that jig setup I told you about. Just not even trying to overcomplicate it. Just gonna throw the two baits and make the best of it. No, that's good. We want wind. If we need to pick the anchor up and, and go back that way, we can. Sitting up shallow. Uh huh. Get up here. Sitting up shallow. You said too windy, and then I said, okay, six inches of water. Hey, man. Fish. Right in front of me. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I got this reel turned up way too high. What's that? No, why? Go ahead. Good. Hold on. <laughs> That's a good fish. That's a that's a good one. It's a good fish. Right as you started singing. 
What do you got to say about that? Right as you started singing. You were singing and I was talking about how the reels turned up too high. Good times. Good times, bad times. No, I had my kids. One more left. <laughs> or just throw a jig and hang on because they eat the jig <laughs> no matter what you do no you don't if you need a bait let me know that's fine right there oh my gosh Yeah, that's 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 gonna go deep. Yeah. What about, uh, yeah. Again, nothing huge, but quality fish for sure. Here, They're fighting. How about that? Yeah, try. Hold on a second. I'm gonna say two pounds, one ounce. You got two pounds, zero ounces. Yep. Kind of what I thought. Thank you, fish. You want to move? Yep. Yeah. Give me one second. I can turn this thing down further. There we go. Got him. You know what I want to catch. Hold on. That's a nice fish. Got him. That is a nice fish. That's a beautiful fish, man. Two pounds, six ounces. I might be wrong, but that is two pounds, eight ounces. Two nine, two eight. Got a three pounder on the day and now some two pounders. It'll look in the opposite direction. What's the best one you got out of here so far? Act stupid. Let's go. Look at this! I watched him eat it. Is that that pipe? No, but that's a good bass. That's a three. That's a, that's a big fish. Well, oh yeah, and the hook just came out. That's a real nice fish there. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful Michigan fish. Zeroed the scale again. I'm gonna say 214. That is two pounds, 10 ounces. 210, 29. Yep, 29. Got him.
moved over here. Back with the uh, jig again. <laughs> you thought it was a... Where's your line? I don't want to hook you. We should have put that fish in your pond, that little one. Got one. That's a big one. That's a fish right there. That's three and a half. It's got to be. I'm going to go ahead and zero the scale. I'm going to say three pounds, five ounces. You got three pounds, one ounce. Three pounder. That's a fat fish, man. We gotta move back, we found them. Ready? Yep. They're back here. In this corner, hitting a jig. Right there, look at that. Coination. All right, so hooligan general. Do me a favor and give us an outro. <laughs> this, this is what I caught today. A leaf. <laughs> today wasn't worth a damn for me anyway. You, on the other hand, caught a whole bunch of fish. I just sat there and watched and drove the boat. That's all I did. <laughs>